we have a problem and it's a big one. The lack of choices available for England at centre-back are looking increasingly likely to be a defining factor into England's potential to succeed at this winter's World Cup. With Ruben Diaz and Nathan Aki getting in predominantly above Stones at the start of this season, Harry Maguire arguably be getting worse at the start of this season, England's two senior starting centre-backs in Stones and Maguire look set to continue their poor form or lack of game time as we move further into the season. This is, of course, a massive headache for Gareth Southgate and the England national team. It's the spine of the team down the middle of the park. And looking at the potential options, there aren't some clear out-and-out replacements for both of these two. With limited opportunities between now and the World Cup for Southgate to get his squad together, and to get a back four or back five decided, Southgate and England have a lot of choices to make. So what does Southgate do? Well, thankfully, there is hope. So looking back at the past four games for England, which we're going to have to do really to look at this centre-back problem as much as I don't want to, England do have other options at centre-back and have used them over these past four games in particular. However, the first thing I think we need, just need to discuss very quickly is the system that Southgate and England need to play. Southgate has traditionally swapped between a back four and a back five. In the last set of fixtures, the away game in Hungary actually started with a back five. That performance, though, as you'll all remember, was really uninspiring. No attacking threat at all. He then switched to a back four for the Italy-Germany game, where we picked up relatively good results. Still didn't play that well, but we certainly played better than what we did in Hungary. And we picked up some positive results against two top teams. However, then came England's worst night in living memory. That 4-0 thrashing at Wolves against Hungary. And in that match, Southgate deployed a back four. That is the last game England have played. Given that result, given how England played in that game and over the UEFA Nations League, who knows what he's going to go back to when we play Germany and Italy later this year. I would like to see him stick with a back four, but given the limited amount of options he's got, he may actually decide for the back five and put three centre-backs in there technically to really shore up that position, particularly if Stones and Maguire aren't available or aren't on top form. But who knows really, but it is important. I'm going to take a look though to see who some of the centre-back replacements could be within these games coming up. So in recent games, two players in particular were included and made a good impression. Tomorrow and Gahey. I think Mark Gahey in particular showed really good promise and is a potential for the future. Tamori obviously is doing wonders still in Italy. Gahey obviously has started the season quite well as well. Again, a starting centre-back for Crystal Palace. Other options though that England do have available are Ben White, Connor Cody, Tarkowski, Mings, Gomez and obviously Carl Walker could come into that centre-back position. He has done before. Even more interestingly, Eric Dyer is obviously now a potential available player for that centre-back position. If Southgate was looking for an experienced pairing at centre-back, the most experienced pairing we would have available after Stones and Maguire would be Walker and Dyer. Now, I wouldn't exactly trust those two to start a game together. They're not the most solid centre-back pairing, but there's certainly some experience there between them. You could argue Mings as well is relatively experienced. He's played games for England before. He's gone to tournaments with them. I'm not a Mings fan, though. I have to be honest. Not a Mings fan at all. But he does show promise. He is a big centre-back. Personally, I wouldn't be confident with Mings going into a tournament as our key centre-back. Tamori is arguably the most promising and the one that a lot of England fans would like to see come into the team more often now. I believe in the last game, despite that 4-0 drumming, by all means, it doesn't matter who would have played at centre-back that game. It was a disastrous team performance, but he obviously was starting that game, so it was a poor display. But Tamori, out of all the players, seems to be the most promising. He's come on really well. That was his first start for England. And I do hope he gets the opportunities against Germany and Italy coming up in these UEFA Nations League games. Southgate has to look at options in these two games because there's no guarantee at all that Maguire and Stones will be the obvious choices come this World Cup and he's only got these two games coming up to have a look at somebody else or, or try to establish another centre-back pairing. But the problem we're going to have is if Maguire and Stones don't come good or get the consistency they need, if we're looking at Gahey and Tamori as a potential centre-back pairing, I, it doesn't fill you with confidence, does it? Solely based on just experience and the pressure. Are those two going to be able to cope with being England starting centre-backs? I don't know. The jaw is still out. I think what's going to have to be certain, though, this Winter's World Cup, we are going to have to look for one player in defence, a centre-back player, a new player coming through, who's going to take that position by the scruff of the neck. 
That position is open. It's open for a battle for who wants it the most. Gehi and Tamori are best positioned for it in my eyes. Can either one of those two turn up? Players get announced at tournaments. Players arrive at tournaments. Is this going to be one of their tournaments for one of these two players? As an, From an England perspective, I really, really hope so. And I think we really, really need it. Walker obviously could come in, but I still think it's a round peg in a square hole or square peg in a round hole, however you want to look at it. He's a fantastic player. He's got the pace, but he's not a centre-back for me. He's not the best deployed there I don't particularly rate Mings Ben White could potentially he looked like he was going to come good he had a good end to the season last season for Arsenal Cody's a little bit hit and miss as well not really a solid centre back so Gomez potentially is another player coming obviously suffered a lot from injury he could be a player that comes in and, and produces the performances we need but there's a lot of big questions for Southgate coming up to this World Cup it's a real problem if England don't have the spine of their team sorted and there isn't going to be time to take a look at a lot of players. Fingers crossed that Maguire and Stones do find their form and performances that we need them to for England, I believe, to be successful. If not, we're going to be looking at some of those younger players or more inexperienced players on an international level to come in and put in a great performance. Having said that, Mings did put in a brilliant performance in the Euros. He came in when Maguire wasn't fit, if you remember. He played really well for England. So who knows? The potential is there. Let's just see what Southgate does in these next two games. I think that's going to be quite key who he picks, those centre-back pairings, particularly if Maguire is still facing this form issue. I really want to know your guys opinions on this who would be your England starting centre-back pairing next week if we had a game it's a really interesting question this one I think a lot of people are going to have a lot of different views on this if you're new here please like and subscribe if you love all things England international football I cover everything across the England international team thank you very much for joining me and I will see you all on the next video